all of the drywall is in. Just closed up this wall today. So going through the house for everything, but uh, it's good progress. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna pre-fill our drywall. Not every aspect of hanging the drywall goes perfect. Sometimes you end up with gaps like this, or like this, or... Or you end up cutting a box large. So this all happens. Um, a good thing drywall is pretty forgiving, so I'm not worried about it. What we're gonna do is pre-fill this, because if you use all-purpose mud, it's gonna crack real good. And if you don't mud it at all before you tape, it's gonna be a disaster. So let me show you here. This is where we already did some pre-fill. This is just 45 minute mud. Not perfect, um, but for the most part, it is filled. Obviously that's how it was originally. Same thing over here. Might as well pre-fill it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Just make sure you scrape off as much as you can and try to make it flush or else you're gonna be doing a lot of sanding. The less sanding, the easier your time is gonna be. I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All right, so I just put all of the fiber tape on all of our gaps and uh, Gonna hit it I haven't done the corners yet, obviously. Uh, you need some mud in there before you use paper. So we're gonna use Perfect 90 on that. It's a little bit better, uh, supposedly stronger and faster and easier. I've never used it before, I usually use paper, but paper sucks. So let's get it. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting always to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, I really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. sky is falling down uh, hmm. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down All right guys, so on the corners I said I'm using this Straight Flex 90 um, it's like super reinforced rather than like a regular paper. Working with it so far, it's pretty darn nice. Uh, so let me show you how I'm doing it. I'm gonna start off by clipping the end to a 45. And then just pre-bend it.
just using the six inch knife. You could probably use a four. It might be a little bit easier, but kind of just throwing it on then dragging it down. back at it Monday morning we are going to be sanding this for the first time I want to go over a few things uh, I'm not the perfect drywaller I do okay but your non factory edges right here as you can see you can see your tape this is the fiberglass tape be careful that you don't over sand this you don't want to really hit this so just hit the edges to clean it up a little bit and then we'll just put another coat over that and obviously fan it out to uh, make it a cleaner transition. This stuff you can sand, it's pretty recessed inside of here. Oh, oh, I can't believe you love me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be never all right guys, nice and dusty now. Make sure you wear a respirator or an N95 or something like that. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. I just hit that whole thing with 220. Now I'm going to put on another coat. You know I'm here to stay every single day. Here we're gonna finish this joint. This is gonna be two um, just ends. So it, this is standing proud basically. It's coming up almost like a mountain. Just trying to put it in perspective how this is sticking out. It's not flat. So basically what we need to do is lob on some mud and we're basically gonna spread the difference here throughout probably a foot. Um, and then it should be pretty smooth. It's gonna be so slight that your eyes are not gonna catch it. Um, and that's the goal right here. So let's get to it. All right, so I totally realized on that last time lapse, I was trying to talk to the camera and show you what I was doing. But uh, let's get going and we'll put our mud on real fast. Bunch of mud.
So I'm just trying to spread it out right now. I'm not trying to make it look clean at this point. You know, at least a foot out on this first coat after um, the initial taping. You'll see if you have to go even further out, you can go probably three feet out, um, four feet out if you need to, to blend it in. So when you do this, we're gonna apply pressure on the bottom side of the blade. And basically we're gonna hang this top part off because we're working our way down. And that way this doesn't drag through the mud and it'll give you that clean finish and there won't be a line in the mud like this. So leave it a tiny little um, detent there that you can try to rework it. And if there is a tiny, tiny little spot, it's gonna be super easy to sand. It's all about pressure and angle of your knife. I'm not an expert drywaller, or else I'd be dry, drywalling every day, but you gotta do drywall um, and renovations, so it's a necessary evil. So I came back to this project yesterday, and there was parts of the drywall that was not dry, and sanding before it's completely dry will absolutely ruin it. It's not gonna sand right, it's gonna ruin your sander, and uh, you're gonna be very upset. So I didn't work on that, I worked on some other little things outside, um, still knocking things out, but today it's all set. I put a fan in here last night or yesterday while I was working. I should have done that the day before um, because there's no heat actively in here. So obviously heat and airflow is going to make your mud dry faster. Um, and it wasn't a full 24 hours anyway. So, so now that it's all good, let me show you a few things. All right. So our factory edge looks pretty darn close to good. I'm going to sand that down then we'll see how it looks again. But obviously here where they were just um, unfinished edges together, you can see a little line there. We still gotta work this out a little bit more after we sand it. So when you're doing drywall, get a light and face it down the wall. You're gonna see a lot more things than if the light was facing directly at the wall. So I will move this light around as I work um, to make sure I'm hitting all these spots. So after a few coats, it is all set. Uh, I just sanded it down for the last time this morning. There was a few spots that I used five minute mud on just to finish off. Um, those are drying right now on the ceiling. And, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Got everything fanned out nicely. Nice and smooth transition. Doesn't catch your eye. That's very important. So what you're trying to do with the drywall and finishing the joints. Um, so this being a closed off room, uh, what to do to knock down the drywall dust off the wall for painting. I just used my leaf blower and blew the heck out of it, opened the windows up, um, let it settle for a while. If, if you're in an open area and you try to keep it more like clean, if it's not contained, sweep it off of the you know, uh, broom that's not too rough and uh, that works pretty good. Uh, but here we went with that blower and then I swept up as much as I could and then I just vacuumed the edges um, because I'm gonna paint right now. What I'm gonna be doing is, I'm just gonna be using the Kills drywall uh, primer. Got this, and then, so I'm gonna be hitting that first on the walls, and then on the ceiling, I'm just gonna use this Valspar flat ceiling paint um, to finish that off. I don't know if it was necessarily in the contract. I think it's just said prime uh, all the walls, but in the ceiling, the drywall, whatever. But uh, it's probably a little bit nicer to just do the ceiling for them, because once I put these floors down, they don't have the luxury of just not worrying about drips on the floor. So we're gonna knock that out right away. That way, when they wanna paint, they can just hit the walls and that'll be it. Falling into 